a chapter a day to brighten your way. Our God is a God who is truly willing to save us. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Genesis chapter 46. When Jacob learned that his favorite son Joseph was still alive, he immediately set off for Egypt. However, he hesitated on the way there, as if he wasn't sure taking the entire family to Egypt was the correct decision. Although he was very eager to see his favorite son again, Jacob still decided to seek God's will first. So he stopped and asked God whether he should continue down this path. Let's read chapter 46 together. Genesis chapter 46 So Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. And God spoke to Israel in visions of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you into a great nation. I myself will go down with you to Egypt, and I will also bring you up again, and Joseph's hand shall close your eyes. Then Jacob set out from Beersheba. The sons of Israel carried Jacob their father, their little ones, and their wives in the wagons that Pharaoh had sent to carry him. They also took their livestock and their goods, which they had gained in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt. Jacob and all his offspring with him, his sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' daughters, all his offspring he brought with him into Egypt. Now these are the names of the descendants of Israel who came into Egypt, Jacob and his sons, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the sons of Reuben, Hanok, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi, the sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shal, the son of a Canaanite woman, the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, the sons of Judah, Ur, Onan, Shelah, Perez, and Zerah. But Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Perez were Hezron and Hamul, the sons of Issachar, Tola, Puva, Yab, and Shimron, the sons of Zebulun, Sered, Elon, and Jaliel. These are the sons of Leah, whom she bore to Jacob in Paddan Aram, together with his daughter Dinah. Altogether, his sons and his daughters numbered thirty-three. The sons of Gad, Ziphion, Haggai, Shunai, Esbon, Eri, Arodai, and Aralai. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishba, Ishvai, Bariah, with Sira their sister. And the sons of Bariah, Heber, and Malkiel. These are the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah his daughter, and these she bore to Jacob, sixteen persons. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph and Benjamin. And to Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, whom Asenath, the daughter of Potipharah, the priest of On, bore to him. And the sons of Benjamin, Bela, Beker, Ashbel, Gera, Naaman, Ehi, Rosh, Mupim, Upim, and Ard. These are the sons of Rachel, who were born to Jacob, fourteen persons in all. The son of Dan, Hushim, the sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shilim. These are the sons of Bilhah, whom Laban gave to Rachel his daughter, and these she bore to Jacob, seven persons in all. All the persons belonging to Jacob who came into Egypt, who were his own descendants, not including Jacob's sons' wives, were sixty-six persons in all, and the sons of Joseph who were born to him in Egypt were two. All the persons of the house of Jacob who came into Egypt were seventy. He had sent Judah ahead of him to Joseph to show the way before him in Goshen, and they came into the land of Goshen. Then Joseph prepared his chariot and went up to meet Israel his father in Goshen. He presented himself to him and fell on his neck and wept on his neck a good while. Israel said to Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen your face and know that you are still alive. Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household, I will go up and tell Pharaoh and will say to him, 
my brothers and my father's household, who were in the land of Canaan, have come to me, and the men are shepherds, for they have been keepers of livestock, and they have brought their flocks and their herds and all that they have. When Pharaoh calls you and says, What is your occupation? You shall say, Your servants have been keepers of livestock from our youth even until now, both we and our fathers, in order that you may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians. Praise God for preparing Joseph and allowing him to suffer greatly, but also for providing greater blessings for Joseph's family by rescuing them from famine. Do you still remember Noah? God brought his family into the ark and saved them from the flood. And in the New Testament, we will see the greatest rescue God prepared for us. He gave us his only beloved son, Jesus, to bear the sufferings of our lives. He rescued us from the chains of death so we could receive a new life of freedom. Our God truly is willing to save us. I look forward to continuing to share His overflowing compassion and salvation with you. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for paying the price and experiencing the suffering in order to save our lives. I want to get to know you better and grow closer to your heart so that I may continue to live in your grace and will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.